Welcome back to the Bad Influence Build Series sponsored by WeldTables.com. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things that we've done this week so far, a um, couple of things that have shown up, and then we're also going to get into uh, how to do a couple of things. One of those is going to be putting a cam in a Hemi. So let's take a look at what Al has been up to. Uh, so this week we've been working on basically the doors, getting the doors uh, finalized. And what we've done is we put the latches in and got the hardware inside the door. So you can see where the latches are inside. Uh, we had to kind of custom make some latches because the 2010 Camaro does not come with those type of latches on it. Had to cut the doors in order to fit all that. We made some frames for the windows. Now tomorrow I'm probably going to be cutting the windows and putting the windows in. But to get everything lined up so that you can close the doors and everything closes nice and easy, uh, it takes a while to do. You just have to get everything matched up. So you can see it's nice, tight, all the lines match up, good to go. I haven't got the, uh, the weather stripping on here yet. Uh, that'll be done tomorrow. And then the windows will get cut tomorrow and I'll have the windows in. So maybe we'll get a picture of that yet tomorrow also. Uh, I also got the struts put on the back of the wing. So now the wing is nice and sturdy. We don't have just the temporary braces in there. And you can see how we get those mounted underneath. Definitely go take a look at the uh, builds, uh, the build video we did of building the drag wing. All right, guys. So we're back, um, and I want to show you what we did with the windows here. Um, bear with my camera skills. I just got a new stabilizer here, so hopefully everything's working better. But um, there we go. See. So uh, what we got here is the this is the Lexan windows. Um, we got the template, we're going to go around like this, there we go. We made a template that fit inside this and up in the window there, okay? Um, and then, uh, as you saw before, we already made the frame for everything to fit in on there and be able to bolt in. Um, these rods, is a rod here and a rod here, I can show you in there. We actually made them adjustable, they have an adjustable heim on the inside there, so that way we can adjust the pressure on there. Um, there's going to be foam that goes right here. The foam that they sent us is a one inch foam and it was supposed to be a half inch foam. So we just have a uh, half inch piece that's taped up in there right now. So that is the door there. We have a carbon fiber trim ring that goes here and opens up nicely. Like I said, that is our adjustable himes on there. Uh, there's only a nut on the one there, but that way we can take it off. And um, if for some reason we need to adjust it, we can adjust that there. So, and then go, sorry, there we go. Go this way like that and nice and firm, no, no wiggles or anything. Um, and then obviously we just made a quarter window. This one will actually just be bolted in um, since we still have the steel in there. It'll go through the foam and it'll get bolted in like that. Okay, so uh, at the back of the car, you saw we were working on this before and now we've got it all welded up and finished. Um, we're going to obviously sandblast and repaint this here. Uh, but what we have is a dual parachute mount. They're actually, it's right at the back here. Um, the parachutes actually hang up a little bit from this. Sorry, there we go. They actually hang up a little bit from this so it will actually be an extra support for the wing. See how I can support that? We know it hangs up about an inch to inch and a half off of there. So it'll hold that up. Um, comes down, there's actually a backing plate in here, so it comes in, let's go, there we go. Uh, it comes inside there. Uh, there's a backing plate on the inside. It holds the supports up like that. And then it actually will bolt, it bolts on down below here. So there's a bolt and a bolt in like that. So the thing is super, super sturdy. Um, and then like I said, that'll actually act as another support for the wing. So these are actually slightly angled up. You, it's hard to tell. Um, maybe about three degrees, um, about a three degree upward angle. That way when the parachute, the air launchers that are on here actually goes off, it's going to throw it up and catch the wind coming off of the wing. Um, that's how we kind of like to do everything. It'll hit a lot faster. And then we also do use an air chute where it has a CO2 air launcher on there. Maybe we'll go over that as well. To go with the parachute mounts, this is also a CO2 activated pneumatic uh, parachute launcher. Uh, I prefer to use this because it's a little bit easier to pack the parachute. You don't have to compress a spring to be able to use your parachutes on there or to pack them. Uh, it also, I believe, throws them out into catch the air uh, a little bit quicker 
than a, uh, a spring does. So how they work is uh, it has have a ram on there that it will be activated by CO2. At the beginning of a run, we open up the CO2 so that way it will have pressure on here. The actual bag and then the cable holds everything in. So when you remove that cable, everything opens up and it allows it to throw it out. Um, we usually put about 100 PSI to it and uh, let's see if we can get it to show off for here just a little bit. Pretty quick that it takes that and this is about uh, 100 to 110 PSI that we run in our in our air compressor here. So throws the parachutes out. So we use two parachutes on this car. Um, this is a Stroud setup that we run um, and uh, it's a pretty cool setup. So definitely take a look at a CO2. If you already have CO2 on your car, it's a very easy thing to put in there for a single shoot or a dual shoot. It's much easier to pack it back in the pits instead of having to try to compress a spring. So we like to show off some of the parts that we get in and such on there, but today I'm going to show off a part and how we, how an install goes on there. Um, what we got in behind me, I'm in my office, which is also my engine assembly room. Uh, we got in our new comp cams, custom ground, uh, Hemi camshaft for a turbo with a blow through carburetor. Now the uh, blow through carburetor turbo deal, um, I've been told that they want a little bit different specs than an EFI deal just because the fuel is being delivered so much earlier in the uh, intake track. So we called Jim Gray at Bullet Racing Engines um, in uh, Missouri and uh, they took and spec a cam, had it ground and drop ship right to us. So if you've never had a custom ground camshaft, they are delivered in a box and then you pull the box out, there's this. They want to really make sure that everything is sealed up tight. I've already opened this once. Uh, because there's some staples and everything in there, so I took out the staples. I will tell you guys some of the specs here, um, but since it is a, uh, a custom deal uh, from Bullet, I'm not going to give you everything because that is their proprietary uh, cam grind on there. Um, if Jim wants to comment on here and say what the, uh, the specs are, he's more than welcome to because they're the ones that did it. Alright, so we're here at the car. Uh, as you can see, uh, right from here, I took the turbo off already. Uh, since the turbo on this car sits right in front of uh, the engine, to, to pull the camshaft out, it's going to be kind of in the way, so we pulled the turbo and everything off. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things we've already done, and then we'll get moving on this, putting a new turbo camshaft out into our 526 Hemi. We're also taking out what used to be a 526 Hemi blower camshaft. This engine originally had a 1471 on it, and, you know, I think maybe a couple of people have seen this engine before. That's right. We bought the old Bad Judgment engine. Uh, People have seen that engine around, they've seen it on the dyno. Um, we're taking that engine, 1471 off, 114 turbo on. So let's get ready for that camshaft. What we've done first, let's grab this, is up top here, obviously the blower manifold is off. This is one of the flanges for our sheet metal intake that we are building. It's over there. Um, and up in here, there we go. So we took all of the lifters out. These are, um, I do not even remember the brand off top of my head. I don't want to be wrong on there, but they are a 903 lifter on there. And um, for the Hemi guys out there that know a bit about the Brad Anderson, Alan Johnson, you know, even some of the KBs, things like that, uh, these are a standard spacing. These are a Venny head, a billet Venny head with a Keith Black cast block that has been hipped. So it's a hardened block. Um, and uh, it's a very good unit there. So uh, this is a from the center bore here to center bore here is 1.8 inches or 1800 and that is standard. Um, what sometimes they do is they spread them out on here to go a little bit wider and then the intake ports up here they're able to make bigger for some of the newer head stuff. So this is the cam uh, plate. All the camshaft stuff is right behind this. Uh, there's five bolts here. Um, so we've already taken those off and Inside is a gear drive. Um, let's get a nice close-up of that there. 
So inside the Hemi, uh, we run a gear drive system on here. Um, this is uh, the center of the, um, the idler gear right there. Um, and this is the spud. This right here, you see a hex. That is the fuel pump drive. And those four bolts that were on the front of the cover. See how there's the studs there like that? That is where the um, fuel pump will actually mount to. So uh, if you haven't seen that before, there you are. Okay, so we got the bolts off here, um, and I'm going to show you. You have to take the gear off, and then you can pull the entire thing out. I had to use a little bit of heat because they had red Loctite on here, so I'm going to use a rag because the gear is a little warm. So what we did is I marked this right here is where the dowel pin was for the camshaft, and then that was our mark on the gear for top dead center. Cam has already started to come out. It looks like we have another comp cam that was in here. I actually already know that because I have the cam card. Um, if you guys want to see the cam card for a blower cam on there, let me know. Um, I have the cam card. You guys can definitely see what a, a Hemi blower cam spec looks like. And there we have it. There is our old camshaft. That uh, This is the camshaft that won the very first uh, Cots King of the Streets in Chicago. Um, Clinton and his father came out there with the Bad Judgment car and uh, won Cots and then kept on going and won a couple more races. Then they put in a new Hemi and they sold me this one. So we're going to convert this one to turbo and uh, finish the cam swap here in just a sec. Well, this is part of racing and this is part of building engines and working with other stuff. We just ran into an issue that the camshaft that we bought uh, has a different journal size. Um, we thought this was a factory cam. We used the cam card that was from the old cam. Um, and unfortunately, the camshaft that's in it has a bigger bearing journal. So I'm going to show you exactly what that means. And hey, it's part of racing. It's part of uh, all of this. So we're going to live, we're going to learn, and uh, we're going to get the right camshaft and get it out there and start making boosts. So let's take a look at exactly what uh, is different from each camshaft. Okay, so we are back in my office and assembly room where we started. Um, we have both of the camshafts here. We're going to show exactly what's different. We know that it's bigger, but how much bigger and why? Um, I've kind of been through this once before on a nitrous engine, uh, except the opposite way where the camshaft was too big. Um, so let's take a look at these two camshafts, see what's going on, and then we know exactly what to order for the next one. So here is the camshaft. You can obviously tell this is the one that was in the engine. Uh, it still has a little bit of oil. A lot of this uh, is some residual oil uh, and assembly lube. Yep, assembly lube. Um, what we see here is when we could wiggle it in the block, we know that this one's too big up front. Um, and then obviously the rest of them are going to be too small um, going back. So let's take and measure... Uh, let's start with the second lobe here, okay, or the second uh, bearing journal. Uh, so on ours, now we're just using just a basic dial caliper here. Um, yes, I can get my micrometer out and we can mic it and everything, but we are sitting at a 2.123 on there. The camshaft that we got that was too small is 1.980. All right, so... What it looks like is someone did a line bore on the camshafts, one, two, three, and four, and they made all those the exact same size, and they're going to use the same bearing. Whereas the factory one here, this is going to be bigger, this is slightly smaller, slightly smaller, slightly smaller, and then smallest on there. Uh, that way when you're sliding the camshaft in, the small one here is going to go through the biggest ones, biggest one, biggest one, and work its way back when you install the camshaft. So what we're going to do is we're going to give Jim a call again. Um, he's going to get us a camshaft, uh, a different one. We'll see exactly what we can do with this. Um, and we'll get a new cam 
with the right size journals on there now that we know the journal size. Hey guys, it's Saturday night. I'm just getting ready to leave. Uh, I've been working on the turbo system tonight, uh, which we're going to check up on in the next video. Uh, we just want to thank everybody for viewing, uh, being a subscriber. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It means a bunch to us. Uh, right now we're in that mid-60s, coming up 70s subscribers. When we get to 100, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, also 250, 500, and 1,000 subscribers. Uh, as we grow, we're going to do a giveaway. At 100, we're going to be giving away a... I am a bad influence hat. At 100 subscribers though, we're going to go through and do a random giveaway on that. Uh, but thank you everyone for uh, viewing and uh, until next time. <laughs>